Live from the Sayre Theater in Sayre, Pennsylvania, Choice FM proudly presents its signature community service event, the 41st Annual First Citizens Community Bank. Presented by Simmons Rockwell Auto Dealerships on Choice 102. Here's your host, Chuck Carver. Hey, we want to remind you to join us next Saturday at 10 and 2 for rounds 3 and 4 of Scholarship Challenge 21, live from Sayre Theater in Sayre, Pennsylvania. Participating teams will be Waverly, Athens Black, Spencer Van Atten, Loyal Sock, brand new this year, Northeast Bradford, North Rome, Christian, Sayre, Tawanda, Wellsboro, and, and uh, that's it. That's the field for next time. And I'm going to steal your mic. Okay. How about that? Okay, go ahead. Play like that. Go ahead. All right. Actually, I brought one. Oh, that's yeah. even better. For us, in case yeah. we needed one. That's even better. You didn't think that we would let you just follow your script all the way to the <laughs> end, right? I mean, you didn't think that it was going to be kind of hoping, unemotional yeah. and easy. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> there's a... See, it's getting see, emotional, it's getting for, emotional for us, too. See? We really appreciate this opportunity. It means so much to me and Irene, and our family, and the community. And uh, we were talking about it earlier. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's supposed to be so easy to nah. buy and sell any business, let alone a federally regulated pair of licenses. Um, but this last year, one year ago from now, Irene and I were sitting at home listening to Scholarship Challenge for the very first time hearing it and learning what it was all about and now a year later we're here on stage with you being trained to move it forward and while you've tried throughout today and leading up to today to tell us that this will be your last day hosting it we certainly hope that that's not necessarily the case although we understand that might be the way you feel right now we want you to know seriously that you are welcome back to host this program anytime you want. I'm thinking 2040. <laughs> I understand that. 2040. Hopefully sooner, and I think a few people agree with us, um, and that brings us to a little bit of business as well. There's something that Choice wanted to, and if Sherry, you could come out here. Um, there's something that Choice wanted to has done for a very long time, and that is something called the Individual of the Year Award. And when you own the radio station and give out the award, it's probably inappropriate to give it to yourself. But since you've gone and sold the radio station to us, it is now in good conscience for us to name Charles C. Carver Jr. the Individual of the Year for 2020, marking, correct me if I'm wrong, 44 years in broadcasting, and all of them spent at WATS and WAVR. I couldn't get a job anywhere else. <laughs> My nose is running. We, uh, we also have uh, some flowers for Mrs. Carver because, uh, as Irene and I know, the job of a radio station owning wife is equally, if not more difficult than the person who owns the radio station themselves. So. Uh, this radio station would not be what it is today without the both of you. And we want to thank you as the new owners and as community members and as your friends. Damn, that's hard to follow. <laughs> and I did mine without a script. Yeah. You've been reading a script no, all had, day. I've been reading a script for 44 years, pal. <laughs> that's how that works. You have no idea um, what that means. Read that. <laughs> what do you want me to read? You do that. I can't. I can't talk after that. I can't read your handwriting. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. We uh, we have loved every minute. So, according to the script, we know that Tioga and Newark Valley have qualified for the March 13 finals of Scholarship Challenge. Be here before we know it. As runner-up today, Troy has earned $250 for his school. Let's spend some time with Kelsey Herman. Uh, this is pretty cool, Kelsey, that your, uh, your kids performed so well. And I know you're proud of them. What's your message uh, as you head back to Troy with a little bit of cash and gas money for the treasures? Well, thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to compete despite everything that is going on. 
on in our world today. Um, it definitely was a bright spot, especially w with everything that's happening. So thank you so much for the opportunity and congratulations to Newark Valley. Thank you, Kelsey. Now let's chat with, and, and Tina, you had the presentation, so I should send you to the microphone and ask you to make that officially. Yes, I would like to make sure that uh, Troy receives this today for as a runner-up. Uh, fantastic job. Wasn't that a great round? Yeah. It was just a great round. And Mr. Citizen of the Year, there couldn't have been a better choice. Thank you so much for all you've done, and you, I know, will continue to do as you stay in touch with us. Thank you. I'll be here. Oh, thank you. My home, my face is running. <laughs> now let's chat with Brittany Doherty. Uh, she coaches the Newark Valley Cardinals. Were you confident coming in? Did you know that these? Uh, and you only had three. You were outnumbered, yes, we but were you outnumbered. you outnumbered the other schools on the scoreboard. Were you pretty confident coming in? Because you know these kids. Oh yeah, we have a great team. I was very confident. Uh, we talked about it last night when we found out two of our members were quarantined, and we said as long as their families were comfortable with coming, we were coming. We were ready, and we were we were just so psyched to be here. And what a momentous day to win on your day of Individual of the Year, Chuck. It's such an honor. Thank you. Um, you're a little bit far away from our transmitter site. Is there is there enough excitement uh, in those outlying areas that, you know, if you live in the valley, you hear about this to the point where you're sick of it. But sometimes you get further away from our transmitter site. I wonder how famous these kids are going to become Monday morning at school. Oh, I'll make sure they're famous. But now that WEBO is involved, I know it's going to be that much more uh, famous out in our area. So yeah. it's very exciting. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, good luck in two weeks. I'll certainly be listening. Oh, thank you so much, Chuck. And thank Thank you, everybody. It's wonderful. We want to thank you for taking the scholarship challenge with us today. Thank the Radigans for, for everything, really. Um, as it says here, and it's easy for me to read, until next time, for all of us at Choice Radio, thanks for helping us celebrate the power of thought and the magic of the emotional mind. <laughs> You're the best, man.